Hello, this is Jim from Mooker.com. Join the forum. I may, may have figured out the configuration needed that Figuera might have used somewhat, which gives us um, generator induction with solid state. So anyone who've messed with this, you know the goal is to get the output when it's on a load to increase with frequency without raising the input. So here we have a function generator. I'm not using big amplifiers. I'm using very low power from a function generator. The power supply is hooked up to the function generator. 5 volts at 1.122 amps. So this amperage meter is reading the input of the function generator, which should be really close to the multimeter current because they're both reading the current going in. Power supply set at 5 volts because this function generator takes a 5 volt supply. The two channels are going into my circuit and these is my output coil. This is actually one coil in series. Because I had a core, I had to use the cores that I have. So you got two primaries, one down there, one up here, onto a secondary in the middle. The secondary is hooked up to an 8 ohm resistive load. And I got the scope across the resistor. Okay, so this sine wave here is our output currently. We're reading. 111 millivolts VRMS so that's the number we're looking at 111 you can look at peak to peak if you want but I'm gonna look at VRMS going through that resistor so you know it's actually pulling some type of current right now we're at 60 Hertz and we're at 111 our input is 1.122 amps and we're going to raise this to 80 hertz. So let's do frequency. 80 and channel 1. 80. Remember we were at 111 millivolts. Now we're at 80 hertz. Now we're at 139 millivolts. And our input went down from 1.122 to 1.099 or 1.1. Okay, let's go up to 100 hertz. Let's 100, 100. Now we're at 100 hertz. Now our output is 1.63 millivolts. And our amperage is now 1.073. It went down again. So let's jump to 200 hertz. 200 hertz. 200 Hertz now our output is 2.24 no 224 millivolts so it started at 111 and it's been going up now this is an open circuit voltage this is loaded resistive loaded voltage I have a resistor as the load now that's outputting more and the current driving it drop down to 0.967 even lower let's go to 300 Hertz 300 Hertz okay now we are at 238 millivolts and 0.9067 here's the power supply 0.904 still at 5 volts the input is going down as we raise frequency while the output is going up as we raise frequency. One more. Let's go to 400 hertz. Now we're at a point, I think, that something starts happening because now we're at 235 millivolts. Let's give the scope a little adjustment. Two hundred thirty-six millivolts. Four hundred. 
and now we're at 0.8 the input dropped more 236 now this only works up to a certain frequency I don't know if it's the then it starts going the other way after I'm at 500 Hertz which is probably faster than any generator is ever going to go so um, that's what I have going on with a unique configuration. If you're interested in the wiring diagram, how this is happening, you could visit the forum in the description. I'm not going to post schematics on YouTube and whatnot. Okay, so now that I think this is doing some good stuff, increasing frequency increases the output up to supreme speeds, which is... 500 Hertz Remember a normal generator goes 60 Hertz. This is going 10 times nah, 8 to 10 times quicker so um, at that point Perhaps the cores can't keep up with it. Maybe air coil could go up into the kilohertz I don't know where I'm gonna have to do some experimentation still But now would be a good time to figure out how to optimize this effect that we're seeing and go for the full Figuera seven or eight stacks of these to keep taking output again and again. Anyway, that's what I have going on. <clears throat> if you're wondering more about this, I will drop a little hint. It's doing something similar to an infinity loop figure eight with the induction and with the current where one is reinforcing the other. If you paid attention on the video, you should be able to get some clues. But anyway, I'll see you at the forum and let's see how this goes.